Apparently, there is an allergy to free speech on college campuses, but the president's well-intentioned executive order to guarantee free speech may not have the intended effect of actually balancing out discourse. It's so easy to make fun of colleges when stories come out day after day about trigger warnings and safe spaces and speech codes. But it's downright scary when the same laughable mentality leads to melees and violence as certain kinds of offensive speech are deemed violent acts that deserve physical retribution to stop the threat. Conservative and liberty-leaning activists who go on campuses to pass out pro-life literature and constitutions shouldn't be walloped because some insulated baby commie has no impulse control. The problem with calling out free speech is applying an objective solution to subjective acts. If there were only two speech genders, liberal and conservative, and somehow a Title IX-like Band-Aid could be applied to make sure they were engaged in equal measure, well, that would be great. But there's not, and there's also no real mechanism for enforcement here. If a public school like UC Berkeley has a virulent strain of irrational progressivism sickening its liberal arts department, it doesn't seem like withholding federal cancer research dollars on another part of campus would either make the problem better or make society healthier. Should the federal government be doling out dollars in the first place? Maybe not, but that's a different order for a freer day. The real problem lies in the federal money that's being pumped into schools that have no incentive to keep costs down or trim administrators. And from 1990 to 2012, faculty went from outnumbering administrators two to one to having equal numbers 22 years later. That's me that means there are as many administrators as there are professors. The average student loan debt, more than doubled in the last 13 years, is institutions with no incentive to provide a tangible, successful outcome also have no reason to balance out the ideas and discourse for overcharged intellectual adolescents who are more terrified of divergent opinions than they are of personal financial ruin. Until students start suing colleges for academic fraud, nothing on campus will change, and conservative discourse will be as rare as affordable college. And that's the memo.